Hi everybody, I'm getting ready to go live here, making some cacio e pepe Sunday night pasta with Anthony from Bellatos. Just waiting on him to join me here. So um, just to let you know, Bellatos is my favorite Italian restaurant in New York. I've um, been going there for years. Let's see my request. Um, been eating there for years. I love, love, love it. First time I ever went to Bellotto's was for a photo shoot, um, for People Magazine. And, uh, they took my picture and then it was time for lunch. And, oh, here we go. Anthony's trying to join. View. I was waiting for Anthony. Let's see. Let's see if, she, uh, there we go. Hey, Chef. Hey, Katie. How are you? How are you? Great. Good to see you. How are you feeling today? I'm good. It's a beautiful yeah. day, so everything's, that's a, you know. That's a fancy looking chandelier behind you. Where are you? Ah, thank you. In my, in the kitchen. Drinking some red wine. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Of course you have a kitchen like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling everybody about when I very first started going to Bellatto's. It was, um, I'd say, 15 years ago. Yeah, and I, I went for a People time. Magazine photo shoot, and I stayed for lunch. And I remember exactly, I had spaghetti pomodoro, and I was like, "This is the best spaghetti pomodoro I've ever had." <laughs> Simplicity. In my life. You've always, and you've always been simple with Italian food. You always like the simple yeah. classics. Well, I think that's that's the judge of a, a good chef. Like you make simple food perfect. Exactly. That's well. That's Italian food in general. Simple ingredients. You know, few ingredients executed the right way. Mm -hmm. So, did you learn to cook from your dad? Is that how you learned? Yes. Yeah, so, um, Bellatos has actually been there. I, I know you know this, but for everyone else, has been there since 1956. Um, so, my father mm -hmm. took it over in the seven uh, in the 80s. Um, so, we've been there for 30 plus years. So, I actually grew up in the restaurant. Basically, my bus stop was across wow. the street, and the only time me and my father spent together, because, you know, the restaurant business is very tough, was cooking together in the restaurant ever since I was a little kid. So his, you know, old recipes, my grandma's recipes from Italy, because my dad's from Naples. He came to uh, New York when he was like nine. Um, and, you know, all the recipes are family, family recipes that are just passed down with love. Oh, I love the food there. It's so great. And every time I walk in, I feel like I'm going home. And I, I feel like <laughs> now I judge Italian food on yours. So it's it's. And you like always see my dad there. Me, You'll never not uh, see my father there. Oh, always. Oh, you walk in, he's sitting there on the front <laughs> table, sharply dressed in one of his shirts. And I, I just love you guys. So I can't wait to get back there. So, can't wait um, to have you, you back. back <laughs> And, but you yeah, this is tough, you know. Out, yes, we are open for takeout, takeout only. Okay, how do people so, get that? Do they order um, online? You just gotta call. call you? No, you just gotta call. We're still doing it old school, <laughs> so you just gotta call uh, the phone number, and then my father will pick up okay. and he'll put in the order for you, and then we'll have you take out your order. You will tell you when it's ready, and you just come by and pick it up. Perfect. All right, so you're going to teach me how to make some uh, your famous cacio e pepe. Yeah, the simple simplicity. So cacio e pepe. So we jot uh, black peppercorns here. I don't know if you can see. Uh -huh. It's simple. It's pecorino romano I cheese. I just a pepper grinder. Okay, that's fine. The that's not, not a big deal. I'm going to smash them. I'm just going to smash the peppercorns with my knife and then throw them into the pan. So. Okay. But you, could, you could use this. Okay. I have this as well. You could use this as well. And then it's pecorino okay. romano cheese. Uh, did you grate it already? I did. I've got um, okay, perfect. The, my pecorino here, freshly grated. Freshly grated okay. by Ryan. He did it for me. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Where's Ryan? He's sitting over here in the chair. <laughs> oh, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna eat your creation, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
we like pasta Sundays when we um, yeah. got married. Part of our uh, wedding vows, I told him I would make him pasta on Sundays. There you go. Well, that's what mm -hmm. family's for, right? Sundays you eat sauce. I mean, exactly. today we're making a, a a classic from Rome, so I'm excited to teach you how to make this dish. Not not, it's very simple, simple ingredients, but it's hard to execute. You really have to get the I know, uh, technique down. The simple down. ones are always the hardest. Yes, exactly. All right, so, so when you're ready, I, I'll, I'll, I'll teach you how to do it. Here. Okay, perfect. I got my water boiling too. Re remember, don't salt the water too much because of the Pecorino Romano cheese is very salty. Okay. okay so, so do I'll about go like a little lighter on the salt. Than I'm a little ready. lighter on the salt because you don't want to overpower it. Okay. All right, it's salted. Okay, and then you got your black pepper, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can start now if you're ready. I'm ready. Should I okay. drop my pasta? Per yeah, let's drop it. I'm using spaghetti. Uh, I use this brand from Italy. Well. It's called Vici, Vici Domini. It's a really good uh, brand from Naples, actually. Okay. Um, I'm using but any one from, from Gagnano. From Gagnano. Yeah, that's really good, too. Because you really yeah. want the pasta al dente. Yeah. For this so dish. Should I use a whole pound? Uh, well, are you guys going to eat it? <laughs> are yeah. you and Ryan going to eat a pound of pasta? <laughs> okay, so yeah, use that. Use the whole pound then. Okay. I'm going to use almost the whole pound, honey. All right, that's perfect. <laughs> I hear okay. Ryan in the background. Use the whole pound. <laughs> I've got to grab a spoon. All right. I see you got a little vino rosso. I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? When is the baby coming? Beginning of September. Oh, wow. Isn't your birthday September as well? September 14th. Good memory. Because mine's the 14th. That's how I always remember when you come in for your birthday. Wait, you said My this was the 14th? August 14th. Oh, August 14th. Okay, I'm one month yes. away from you. So it's a month. Yeah, exactly. So, wow, she's going to, the baby, do you know if it's a boy or a girl yet? It's a girl, right? A girl. How about there a girl? you go. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, you. you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so now she'll be brought up on Bilotto's food as well. Exactly. <laughs> this baby's got to have uh, good taste buds. All right, so now I'm just smashing my peppercorns. And then I'm going to put them in the pan with some extra virgin olive oil and uh, a touch, just a touch of butter. Okay. Let me get some butter. So, Anthony, how much, how much butter and how much oil? It's only, it's only to coat the, not even a lot at all. I would put a tablespoon of each. It's just to, um. Okay. To really get that flavor of the black pepper, once it starts smelling like black pepper and it starts smoking a little bit, you can shut the fire off. Uh -huh. You just you okay. want you want to toast the the black pepper because that's that's the whole dish okay. is black pepper and pecorino romano cheese and the starch water. And I want to really pepper it up. Yeah, really pepper it up. So I got about like this much in the pan. Oh, okay. you can I'll see keep it. Going. You know, this is a really good tip because I always put the pepper on at the end. I didn't realize you put it in the butter at the beginning. This is what what's going to coat the whole pasta and give it that that flavor throughout the the whole pasta dish. Okay. That's the key. All right. Really good tip. I love cacio pepe. It's so simple, isn't it? Did, when you went yeah. to Italy, did you get this dish in Rome? Yeah, in Rome. It's, it's amazing, right? They make it. Did they use fresh pasta or? or uh... Uh, yeah, it was fresh. The best one I've had is at a place in Rome called Roschioli. Oh, I've never been there. i got to check it out next time I go. So good, yeah. So good. And and uh, you and your newlywed, you and your wife, Christy, you all just went to Italy. Yeah, for a honeymoon. Fall, right? That yeah, well, yeah. Um, that restaurant you it told was, us to go to was unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. One you of the what? best. 
that restaurant oh, you told us to go to that you got married at and the people are yeah. Yeah, let's follow you. It's the very best food. I love it. Oh, and it's amazing. It's the same thing. You know, the two of you, it's like, yeah, I have you here and I have them there. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there it's like a mom and pop shop, a family, um, and you feel welcome. Yeah. You're like at home there. I wish I had totally. that kitchen though, Katie. The kitchen that they oh my have God, there. The most beautiful kitchen. <laughs> How's this looking, Anthony? This beautiful. So. Perfect. So once you smell the gar the the black pepper, you really have to smell it mm -hmm. because that's the whole. This like okay. I said, that's the whole dish. Okay. I asked my followers for some questions from you. Okay. Uh, or that they had for you, and um, I got uh, over and over again. How do you get the cheese not to clump? You're going to see. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm going to show you right now. It's basically just the Pecorino Romano cheese and the starch water. So you really have to smooth it out. I have a bowl here if you want to get a bowl ready. Okay. Um, what you do is once the, start, once the pasta is basically cooked, what you do is you take the starch water and you keep on feeding the Pecorino Romano cheese until it becomes like a smooth paste. You could take a, a rubber scraper oh, and just keep... Here. Yes, and then you add it to the, what I'm making now. You'll see. Another um, another question that you got was, please settle the debate, cheese on seafood. Never. Never. My father, <laughs> you know my father. If, if he sees you doing that, he'll go over to your table and tell you you're ruining the dish. Say <laughs> not allowed. <laughs> not allowed. I agree. I'm, I'm no cheese on seafood either. What about... Um, Let's see. People wanted to know the how do you choose which noodle for which sauce? Um, it depends. Um, you know, it depends what you're making. Like a bolognese, you want a, a noodle that will stick to the bolognese so you really can, you know, absorb that flavor and it sticks to the pasta. So like a fresh pappadelli would be good for a bolognese. Um, for a pomodoro, you want a spaghetti, but you want a dry pasta because mm -hmm. you want that crunch. For this dish as well, there's really there's debate on if you should use fresh pasta or use spaghetti because of the um the crunch. You really want that crunch. So some chefs say fresh pasta is better. Some say spaghetti in a box is better. So I I preferably like um the crunch and and, and spaghetti in the box because you can really achieve that yeah. al dente al dente bite that you need for this dish. Yeah, I like the dried pasta as well. So, Katie, now what you're going to do is you're going to take the starch water from your pasta and okay. put, like, a ladle full flame off of your black pepper and just flame add off. it. Yes. Okay. And this is actually what you're going to saute your pasta in. So we're going to pull the pasta about two minutes early, and then we're going to finish cooking it in this black pepper and starch water. Okay. What was I supposed to do in this bowl again? Okay, so what you do is you take your Pecorino Romano cheese, right, that you okay. grated. Okay. And then you take a ladle full, not a ladle full, just eyeball it, however much cheese you have. Okay. And you add it. Hold on, let's see if I can how get you. How much cheese do you think I need? Um, I would, it's, this is all cheese, so how many, how much cheese did you buy? Um, I mean, there's probably a solid cup and a half here. Okay, that's perfect. Put all of it. Okay. So now you're just going to work. I don't know if you can see this. You're just going to keep working the cheese with the starch water until it becomes a paste. Okay. And it's smooth. That's so interesting. I've never seen anybody do it this way. Yeah, this is actually, I, I learned this in Rome. Um, when I went to Rome, idea. this is how they do it in Rome. Wow. And then this way... You, you don't could add more cheese clumps. if it's yeah, no clumps. So this is basically your pecorino romano paste wow. that you add to the pasta. Wow. So you just keep working it around. You really want like a, a paste. Kind of looks like you know when you add uh, powdered sugar and water together. Mm-hmm. That's exactly how it should look. That's the consistency you want. Okay. I think I'm getting there. Mine's a little bit like cream of wheat. 
<laughs> okay, that's fine. Just make sure it's smooth. That's the whole key to not, not getting clumps. Okay. That's so cool. I mean, cacio e pepe really is Italian macaroni and cheese, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. I love a simple dinner like this. And if you didn't have pecorino romano, you could use parmesan, right? Um, yeah, but then you have to, the saltiness of pecorino romano really makes the dish. Um, but if you, yeah. if you don't have it, I guess you can use Parmigiano Reggiano, but people in Rome do not do it that way, but we're not in Rome. So yeah, I, it, whatever it works for you guys. Thing. Yeah. Whatever works, works for you guys, whatever you have at home. I know times are tough right now and you can't get to the supermarket as much as you want to. Um, so you could yeah. use Parmigiano Reggiano, but really the saltiness of the Pecorino Romano cheese is what makes this dish. I'm going to test my spaghetti and see where it is. I was just about to do the same thing. Mm, I think mine's ready. Yours is good? Yeah, mine's great. Mine's ready, too. It's still, mm -hmm. still pretty al dente. Right. Perfect. So now you don't even have to strain it. Just take it. I'll turn over here. Just literally take it from... And put it right in the pan. Okay. Because that water that's on there, that's just going to become part of our sauce, right? Exactly. You want to finish cooking it in the pan with the black pepper because you really want to coat this pasta with that peppery, beautiful flavor. Anthony, I got to ask you, I, I always watch your Instagram to see everything you're making. Everything looks so good. I want to know, what is your wife Christy's favorite thing that you cook? Actually, carbonara. She loves carbonara. Ah. She loves spaghetti carbonara. carbonara looks good. I, I can teach you how to make that next time. Lately. Yeah, everyone. So what I'm doing I now is I'm giving people, you know, something to do at home because, you know, not a lot of people really have that. Um, I don't. Not a lot of people get in the kitchen a lot and cook. You know, so yeah. right now everyone's trying it out and everyone wants to have a home cooked meal. So I'm giving away some recipes, you know, for for people to try at home, your, you know, if they want Sunday your, Italian and toast. Chese and your um your uh vodka sauce. The vodka, vodka sauce yeah, is that, insane. <laughs> that's that's what I everyone's mean, been I've cooking had up. Your vodka sauce, so I know how good it is. But I mean, you make it look so easy. <laughs> I try to make it, you know, friendly for, like, easy for people that can follow along, you know, and, and really give them an easy recipe that they can follow along. Yeah, you make it look really easy. And good. Does Christy cook at all? Yeah, she does. What's she does. She recipe? follows recipes. She follows recipes all the time. Um, she just tries yeah. any, you know, she just does new things over and over again. She's just constantly trying. But when I'm not home, she cooks for me. After I get off my dinner rush, after the shift, I have dinner waiting for me at home. Aww. Yeah, so oh, she's good. so nice. <laughs> you all are the cutest so how, couple. <laughs> thank you. So how's your uh, pasta looking? Pasta looks great. It's all coated in the pasta water uh, in here. With okay, the, let that um, let me show it to you guys. Let that reduce by about half. Okay, keep keep going. Yeah, keep going. Because you don't want the dish to be too watery. You want it to be creamy. Okay. So whatever you started with in the pan, reduce that by half, and then you're ready to add the uh, the little paste right, you made mine. with the pecorino romano cheese. Mine's Good. How's yours looking? It's looking great. So, um, I always ask people to like CN as well. It, when when you guys are open, uh, when you post on your Instagram, because at the Lottos, the kitchen looks directly out to the dining room. The customers, long, yes. Long, narrow. And on, like, Friday night, you'll post two-hour wait, and you see everybody just lined up. Yeah, because um, we're old school. I mean, everybody out it's there first come. should know. Yeah. Like, a lot of this is the hardest restaurant to get into. And I feel so lucky that I have a direct line. <laughs> because you guys don't take reservations. You usually <laughs> come early anyway. 
Yeah. <laughs> I know. Just, that's what I tell people. I say, just, just come just early. Go early. Go at Don't come seven, open. eight o'clock when the dinner rush hits because yeah. you're you're going to be waiting. If you want to come, come for lunch, or come, you know, right when we open at five o'clock from dinner for dinner. Yeah. And that's what time you always come. Five, five thirty. You always come. Five, five thirty. I'm I'm early. Right? Yeah, we're doing delivery now. Yeah. Anybody who's just tuning in, this is Chef Anthony Bertolo from Pino Salada, my favorite restaurant. We're making Cacio Pepe, and they are doing takeout if you're in New York. Yes, we are. Do you do curbside pickup? Like, will you guys bring it outside for people? Yeah, of course. Just call. Just call yeah, and tell okay, us that, cool. you know, you feel uncomfortable coming in, and we'll, we'll do it for you. No problem. Amazing. All right, so should I put my cheese paste in? Yes, but make sure the flame is off. Oh, turn off your okay. flame. All right, everybody hear that? Turn off your flame before you Turn off your flame because then the cheese will cl they'll clump up. So you really want that heat from the pasta to really create that creaminess. And Katie, keep working that pasta around. You really want to work right. it in and create that cream. Yeah, I always see you really work in the pasta. <laughs> That's the key for this and carbonara. That's mm -hmm. what you really got to do. It, it's the key because in carbonara, if you cook your egg yolks, if you have the flame on, you're going to end up with scrambled eggs. So you really got to use that heat we don't want of that. the pasta. So you really work it around. Yeah, I always see you. You, like, really get in there. Yeah. A little bit more pepper to it. I feel like maybe I was a little too shy with the pepper. Of course, you're gonna put pepper on salt to garnish anyway with more pecorino romano cheese. So, All right. we'll keep working that pasta around. It's creating that cream. Ooh. Ryan's sitting here watching. It's like making it <laughs> I want to show everybody this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh and then if you so really creamy. if you really want to make it nice and a little bit creamier, you could just put a touch of butter at the end. Cold butter and then keep working it around, Katie, if you really want to thicken it up a little more. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna put a little pat of butter. I'm, I'm from West Virginia. You don't have to ask me to put <laughs> butter in something. Butter's better with everything, right? Yep. Do you finish your pomodoro with butter? Um, I do not. I don't. Not my, not my pomodoro, no. But okay. you could. People do it all the time. Any other sauces that you finish with butter? Um, the rigatoni zucchini that you have sometimes. Yeah. On the lot, uh, at the restaurant, yeah. That sauce is a red sauce. That's... I finish it off, that off with butter. Can I, can I ask him? Come what? in here and ask me. Ryan's at wanting me to ask which I said, you come in here. What do you got to ask buddy? me, Ryan? Shoot. How you doing, buddy? I, I remember, I love your bolognese so much, but I feel like your father told me one time that you guys use, um, what was it? Evaporated Evaporated milk. milk. Yes, sure? sometimes. Or I do, I, I use milk powder as well. So milk powder and then you so add the water in it. But it really moistens, it really, well, my bolognese takes six hours to make. So the evaporated milk will soak into the meat on low heat. It soaks into the meat and really makes it that that much tender. It literally, I mean, you've had the bolognese before, right? It's nice oh and God. tender, right? So, uh, <laughs> it's the best bolognese yeah, on it, the planet. It really is. But it's so it's like low and slow. And it's like a... It's so good. And then we look at And then we have the pork. Oh wow, that looks great. That's perfect, Katie. What do you um do more. you do the blend of three meats for the um bolognese? I do pork and beef. Sometimes pork if I get beef. a good okay, cool. Yeah. Sometimes I if I get a good price on veal, I'll obviously throw it in, but veal's very expensive. Yeah. I'm not a veal fan. I would rather just have... And a lot... That's what I was just going to say. A lot of people don't really eat veal. Yeah. Do you do the All same right. for your meatballs? Yes. Pork and beef. 
But the oh, key is we do so. Fast. Yeah, we do sausage, hot sausage, sweet sausage, and beef. There's sausage in the meatball. This is yep. so good. I just snuck a bite. There's sausage <laughs> All right. in the meatballs? Is that what you yes. said? Yes. Yeah, yes. Sweet sausage, oh. spicy sausage, and beef. Okay. Yep. Good to know. I know we should try that. Anthony, are you selling, like, can people call and be like, I just want 24 meatballs and just yeah. go pick up, like, a big thing of meatballs? Of course. Yeah, yep. she's, she's asking that because why don't she's <laughs> going to place an order for 24 meatballs. Drive in New York City. <laughs> <New York. laughs> That's great. A meatball drive by. Would you have meatballs and eggplant, right? You guys like that eggplant parmesan. You guys oh, like the eggplant parmesan, 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 right? We actually got some eggplant parmesan questions that people wrote in and wanted to okay. know. Um, if you cook it before you bread it and fry it. I, you cook it at the restaurant, I cook it the night before. So what yeah, I do is I'll fry it. The night before. Yeah, so I'll fry it the okay. night before. Okay. But I don't, no, I don't it's boil so it or anything like that, no. But the key Are is soaking it in, in uh, salt water to make oh, it nice and tender. Okay, so you just salt water soak, okay. Yep. Do you, um... Do you, are you doing like if somebody calls and says 48 hours later, you know, can I get a whole tray of eggplant parm or a whole tray of lasagna? Yeah, just let me know. Definitely call call uh, ahead so of time. And what, of course, this is what I love about you guys. You all are always like, <laughs> yeah, just let me know. Yeah, little mama. Yeah, we did that for my birthday last year. Yeah, I remember. I last made you eggplant parm. I got the oh, was it lasagna? lasagna. And lasagna. instead of a cake. Yeah, instead of a cake, Ryan got me a whole focaccia from you because you have the best <laughs> focaccia ever. That's another thing we ever. do. We bake our bread in-house. Everything's made in-house. Our raviolis, cannoli cream, everything. All right, Katie, so now we're going to garnish so, with, with some more cheese. Okay. All right. I just freshly grated my cheese. Anthony, look All at right, my perfect. new little cheese bowl. Isn't this cute? Oh, that's amazing. That's like peca like the Pecorino Romano reel. <laughs> yeah. And then so some black the pepper as well. Here. Yep. And then okay. black pepper. Ryan, you want to come taste this? Yeah. <laughs> Let everybody see this. Look at that. And this is mine right here. Oh my gosh, yours looks so pretty. So you really want that, that juice? Oh, that looks good. Isn't this beautiful? Yeah. yeah, come take a picture of me. Mm. 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 <laughs> That's so good. I mean, it's here. perfectly cooked. Ryan's coming in for a picture. There you have it. It's so easy. Oh, yeah. mm. <laughs> I mean, we made this whole thing, talking so, and everything. It was 29 minutes. And in 30 like minutes. That, we were talking yeah. at the beginning. So it didn't even take that long. This is great. Like, not only Yeah, for literally, you dinner, can make this dish. Is this like... Uh, you really get that black pepper, right? Oh, that black yeah. pepper when, flavor that coats the pasta. When you young kids are going out at night drinking and stuff, you know, <laughs> at teen time, do you come home at like three in the morning and make this for everybody? Yeah, I actually do. I do this in carbonara because they're both quick. Mm. This is my... Gaucho Pepe is like my late night. If like she's gone to bed and I have... I want a second dinner at like 11... I usually go for it. Now you know how to make it. That's what he does. <laughs> he likes for me to go. I go to bed early, and he likes to stay up and watch movies after I go to bed and make pasta for himself. <laughs> so now, Ryan, I now see you've been the, in the kitchen a lot. We know the trick. Yeah, he oh, had yeah. dinner last night. I've been cooking nonstop. Yeah. Um, your food is looking fire, man. I, I've been I looking at your stuff. It looks really good. Thanks, man. He did good last night. He made oxtails that were amazing. 
Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. I saw that last night. It looked delicious. It was great. It came out well. Um, but this is the best trick ever. I had no idea about making the the cheese paste. Like it's a secret. I, yeah, no, yeah. no one really knows. So the, the cheese doesn't clump. You take the. Were you not paying attention? I missed that part. Oh, you you put the pasta water in the bowl and you put the cheese in it and make like a paste out of it. So you you put the cheese in first. Yeah, the cheese That's has to go like in the first. Best hack because you know how many times I like am scraping the pan of all the melted clumpy cheese, and then it the turns bottom. gooey, right? And it's it's really pasty and it yeah. sticks to the. It literally like cooks the it's cheese, to cook. and it. Be, yeah. <laughs> well, now you know how to make it, buddy. I mean, this was great. Quick recap: all we needed was extra virgin olive oil, butter, spaghetti, pepper, and cheese. Right? Yep. Pecorino, pecorino Romano cheese. That's it. That's and it. starch water. Make sure you have your starch yeah. water handy. And that's it. The pasta water. And if only I could that's have a glass key. of red wine to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> soon, <laughs> soon. Months, right? Yeah, red wine pairs really well with this dish, though. Well, we miss you guys so much. We miss you, too. Please I'll tell my, I told my father I was doing this with you. He doesn't own a cell phone. Um, oh. nor, nor does he. He doesn't. He, you know, he's not on the internet. So he doesn't I love understand that he doesn't but he doesn't have a cell phone. <laughs> he was happy when uh when I told him that I was cooking with you and he gives his best Aww. to you and uh Oh, t tell your mom I said hi to and your brothers. I, I will. I give everybody my love and tell, tell Christy I said hi too. We miss you all. We can't wait to see you and have pasta together in person and give you We a miss love. you too. I can't wait till we can open again. Hopefully this ends I soon. You know, we're, we're going to drive into New York just to do a curbside pickup from you. Let me know anytime. All right. I'll tell everybody your Instagram account real quick. Somebody's asking for it. Okay. So it's Chef Anthony underscore and then Bellatos, B-A-L-L-A-T-O-S, N-Y-C. So Chef Anthony underscore, yeah, Bellatos, N-Y-C. I've got it on my Instagram story, and I'm going to save this as well. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you for this amazing pasta. This is our Sunday night. Enjoy. I enjoy, have guys. i husband now. All right. We love Be you. Be safe and, and enjoy. Love you guys. Be good. Thank you, Anthony. Right, yeah. Bye, Chef. Bye. Hi, everybody. I'm getting ready to go live.